Hi everybody, it's Johnny Seed here. I uh, recently got all my records out of storage, so I have them all in the house now. And um, I thought I'd go through some of them, show you what I've got. And uh, today we're going to start off with some 45 singles and a few pitch discs as well. Okay, so as you can see, I've got these stacked up. I've got quite a few vinyl 45s. I've not looked through this uh, pile in a long, long time, so can't really remember what's in here. Uh, but on the top we have Ashes to Ashes by David Bowie with a picture sleeve. We have The Cult, Sun King, Edie Chow Baby, so from the 90s. And uh, one of the first records I think I ever owned, probably the first record I ever owned, uh, from 1975. Obviously, I didn't buy it myself. It was probably a Christmas present. Uh, it's Make a Daft Noise for Christmas by The Goodies uh, on Bradley Records. Uh, no sleeve anymore, and it's incredibly scuffed, probably from being used as a frisbee. Another one by The Cult, Lil Devil, one of my favourite songs. Backed by Zap City. Right, so this one here, not sure if this is the, uh, probably not the right sleeve, but, and you don't think you can see it, but this is Elvis Costello and the Attractions. And, unfortunately it doesn't say, oh, I can't stand up for falling down, I think it is, yeah. Uh, middle bit was being popped out, American style. American jukebox style. That's probably better, better looking RCA label there. Uh, sleeve. Uh, and one of my parents' records, this is Roy Oberson's Walk On on London Records. This is from 1968. On the B side, we have Flowers. Okay, so I Don't Remember by Peter Gabriel. That's the right way around, yes, Peter Gabriel, I Don't Remember. And this is a freebie cover single from Sounds magazine uh, featuring Terraplane, Stevie Ray Vaughan, The Fabulous Thunderbirds, and Andrew Kane not familiar with any of the songs on here let's just flip it over and see what they are so Stevie Ray Vaughan Stevie Ray Vaughan's Change It the fabulous Thunderbirds Why Get Up and on the B side Andrew Kane's Physical Contact and Terraplane's Living After Dark I might be wrong but I think Terraplane turned into the band Thunder who had the album Backstreet Symphony in the early 90s I might be wrong I'll double check that now okay so boom boom room here comes the man this is from the uh, 80s featuring someone on the keyboards called Skid a bit of an unfortunate name and someone called Lush and Andy who clearly couldn't have thought of a derogatory nickname for himself and next up we have Ultravox, The Voice. Now this is one of those retro looking uh, records, I actually got this in the 80s. Uh, the Kingsman, Julie Green Giant, is on side two, as you can see there. However, the reason I bought it was because on the A side, it was Louie Louie by The Kingsman. I uh, got this uh, after watching Animal House, no doubt. And next up we have a, the solo single by Paul Rutherford from Frankie Goes to Hollywood. This one's called Get Real. Paul Weller's Sunflower, minus the sleeve, uh, plus Wildwood. This is probably one of the latest vinyl singles I've got from uh, 1994. And another Ultravox single, Young Savage. Now, some of you might not be aware, if you think Ultravox were the sort of slick 80s synth band, uh, they actually started out 
as a quite a uh, hardcore punk band. This is a fantastic single. I recommend you go searching for it now if you don't believe me. Um, this is when John Fox was singing. Um, Chris Cross was still in the band. I think the rest of the band was probably the same. But no Midge. Ugh. And there's the front cover. Very punk. Okay, another freebie cover disc. This one from the Enemy. And it contains Bronski Beat and the Cocteau Twins on one side. And on the flip side we have U2, Wire, I think a dub mix of, and the Smiths, what she said. This one's pretty unplayable, it's just covered in scratches. Okay, so this is an actual uh, original Jefferson Airplane single. Uh, Somebody to Love on one side and White Rabbit on the other side. Let's just get this out. Again, it's got the middle popped out for jukebox playing. So I'll have to just double check and make sure if this is an original one. Uh, it doesn't actually have a date on it. It just says it was recorded in 1966, but there doesn't seem to be any other information about it. So I don't know whether them two songs actually came out on the same single, because uh, they're probably the two, one or two of the most famous Jefferson Airplane songs. So uh, let me do a little bit of research and find out. And next up, the Pet Shop Boys and West End Girls. Julian Cope, World Shut Your Mouth. And we have Strawberry Switchblade, Jolene, uh, the Dolly Parton song on Corova Records. Another Strawberry Switchblade, Let Her Go. And another Strawberry Switchblade, Who Knows What Love Is. Ice House. And this one is called, I forget what it's called. Side A is called Ice House, but Ice House by I ha Ice House? Let's have a look. Yes, it's Ice House by Ice House. I'll stop saying Ice House now. Right, so this is a bit of a weird one. Billy Howard, King of the Cops, comedy single. Where he does impressions of famous at the time, 60s and 70s TV cops. Uh, I think Hawaii Five-0, Columbo, Ironside, etc. Penny Farthing Records, don't know much about them, and on the B-side is Bond is a four letter word, so a novelty single. Uh, if I can find it on YouTube, I'll put a link below, it's worth a listen. Although if you're under 45, you probably haven't got a clue who any of the characters are that he's doing an impression of. And another Ultravox single, this one is called The Thin Wall, and excitingly, it is on clear vinyl there you go that's picking up Kate Bush running up that hill gatefold I'll get all that in Another strawberry switchblade. This one is Trees and Flowers. So this is a, a John Fox. This is a double single. We have a gatefold sleeve with two records. This is This City with Dr. No. And the other one is no one driving. No one driving with a song called Glimmer on the Reverse. Right, so what is this? This is a flexi disc. Ugh, never going to be played again. It's actually a computer. Your computer first ZX, ZX81 flexi soft disc. Now, this is obviously an idea that never caught on. Um, I'm assuming you would play this somehow into your ZX81 and there would be a game of Othello on there. I think the days of this actually being playable are 
uh, pretty long gone and it looks like it's been uh, used for target practice so a computer game on a flexi disc uh, another one of my parents records this one is Frank Ifield you don't have to be a baby to cry and on the other side nobody's darling but mine and what year was this to look 1963 and the stone roses elephant stone backed with the hardest thing in the world uh, produced by Peter Hook and another oldie one here this one being the Marcel's Blue Moon on Pi backed with Goodbye to Love and date on this one is 1961 okay a few more vintage discs here that don't have sleeves and unfortunately are pretty much uh, scuffed to death um, Born on the Wind by Roy Orbison on London Records that's from 1964 another Roy Orbison single Distant Drums from the 1963 on London Monument backed with Falling and we have on Columbia Apache by the Shadows and it says on there I think that says 1960 so it's quite an old one. Oh, and on the back there is quarter I, was, I thought I said Quatermass's stores but it's Quartermaster's stores uh, Mike Berry I'm as old as Paul McCartney I don't recall ever buying this I don't think it was one of mine uh, who knows who got this and the sunshine of your smile on the back another Columbia original this one's from 1959 and it's the honeymoon song by Manuel and the music of the mountains and unfortunately uh, it's had a big chunk put out of it again probably used as a frisbee in the oops in the early oop, in the 70s uh, proud matador is on the other side and another Columbia single from 1960 this is the wedding song uh, again by Manuel and the music of the mountains and on the other side we have April in Portugal which I'm sure is nice and back to the 80s we have hit list total isolation on the B side of hit list into the fire quite a good song this uh, again if I can find a link to it I shall put it down below Oh, the Proclaimers. I'm going to be 500 miles. I remember getting this back in the 80s. Um, yeah, when it pretty much first came out, I quite liked it. And then I hated it because I was more into heavy metal. And then it's sort of, over the years, it's sort of crept back into the public consciousness. And you hear it being played in nightclubs and things, which I can never quite understand. But it's, yeah, it's a good song. Good, good one to uh, chant and sing when you're hammered. Okay, Luis Cardenas, Runaway. Now, Runaway, the original, is, is um, one of my favourite songs. This was a late 80s, early 90s cover version, sort of heavy rock, soft rock cover version from 1986, actually. And Strawberry Switchblade, they're probably their biggest song since yesterday. Uh, fantastic song, that. With By the Sea on the B-side. Uh, one of the singles I remember buying back in the 80s, Sly Fox. Let's go all the way. With Como Tute Lama on the back. What is your name? Die Straits. Walk of Life. Which uh, at one point would have had two records in there. Uh, the Walk of Life, backed with Two Young Lovers Live, with The Sultans of Swing, and Eastbound Train Live. And this is a gatefold single, which looks like it's had tea or coffee or beer thrown at it at some point. Um, 
However, I just realized there are <laughs> no singles in here. So just a sleeve. Uh, whatever happens to the singles, I have no idea. They might be in the bottom of the stack. Probably not. So, dive straight to the walk of life. Kate Bush, Army Dreamers. Backed with Delius and Passing Through Air. Alright, and another comedy single from the 70s. This is Jasper Carrot's Funky Moped. Actually, not, not a bad song, actually. Uh, I, if I can get out, if I can find a link, I'll put it down below. Or if I can't be bothered, you can just go searching for it. Um, yeah, very, uh, very 70s. And on the other side is the Magic Roundabout. Aha! The Best Dreams by the Burnley Building Society. This was the single from an advert which they deemed fit to release. And I don't know if you can see here, however, it does say that the words and music were written by if you can see that Salman Rushdie <laughs> and Ronnie Bond so before he became a literary author he was writing lyrics for building society jingles and adverts okay so and the next one is it's a trip tune in turn on and drop out this is acid house uh, at its purest I'd say. And Depeche Mode. Just can't get enough. With any second now on the back. Another Columbia single from the early 60s. Uh, I'm Smiling Now by Frank Ifield. With The Wayward Wind on the back. And that's from 1963. Another one of these reissue discs. This one is Leonard Skinner's Sweet Home Alabama, which is the B-side to Freebird. So I'm surprised I managed to get it all in one single. That's quite a long guitar solo, but fantastic. Okay, in the last couple here, we have an extended play single, well, 7 inch extended play by Il, Sel Silzenzo, Sil Il Silencio and there are one, two, two songs on each side now they're all in Italian I, c I can't really read what that says Durium? is that the record label? Um, I'm guessing this would be played at 33 and this is from 1965 and the last one in the stack is I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles by the Blue Diamonds on Decca with Till We Meet Again from 1961 on the other side and it's incredibly poor condition okay so that's it for the 45 singles I'll just uh, grab the pitch discs and we'll do them next <laughs> 